Hello everybody, it's Bourbon Bill, and tonight, a very special episode. Did you hear that? It's turkey time! Add this beauty. It's Wild Turkey Masters Keep Unforgotten 2022 release. Did not get this in PA. Snagged this on a work trip. Uh, here in PA, she sold out like that. Literally that quick online. So unless you knew somebody who knew somebody, you likely didn't get one here in Pennsylvania. Now, you might remember that my only other Wild Turkey Masters Keep that I own, the one back there, 2021's The One, was on my list of most disappointing. Just, you know, did not live up to the dollar value. And I kind of swore off getting the Masters Keeps after that. I kind of said, you know, maybe they're just not worth it, right? But, heard a few good things about this, saw it, and you know, like a child in a candy store, I had to have it. So. For those that don't know, this pays homage to the wild turkey Forgiven. Many years ago, I don't have one, it was a blend uh, where an employee accidentally dumped a rye into a bourbon, hence it was a burr rye, and they bottled it anyway and sold it to you, and it was called uh, Forgiven. Okay, so now, with a play on words, it is Unforgotten. And you might guess, if you're a smart individual, that this is a blend of bourbon and rye. What do you know? What do you know? Coming back around. This says a blend of Kentucky straight bourbon and rye whiskeys finished in rye casks. So not only, not only do we have a burr rye here, we have a burr rye that's finished in rye casks. Holy smokes. Hold the newspapers, everybody. It's coming out. Now, there's more details here. A magnificent marriage of 13-year-old bourbon. Russell's 13. And an 8- and 9-year-old rye. Finished for a secondary maturation period, undisclosed, in rye casks. There is some other tasting notes here that says uh, caramel fruit, oak, then pepper and baking spices, so, you know, okay. Non-chill filtered, it says. I do love the Master's Keep boxes. I mean, for a yearly limited release, the boxes are nice, except they're so damn big that they take up so much room in your cupboard. You know, at least my wife complains about it. Taking up all the room for her wine and Prosecco. Arr. Jesus, we got that back there. Again, it's the gorgeous turkey bottle that you've come to know and love with the embossed turkey. So earlier today, in one of my Facebook groups, I commented how, and actually in my earlier videos, which I'll link above, Bomberger's and Shanks, I commented how they really cheaped out in the bottle. It was just a generic wine bottle and they could do better. And we have evidence here today. Look at this gorgeous bottle. Way better than some stupid looking wine bottle. We got an embossed turkey flying across here. We got a heavy metal topper sandwiched with wood sandwich in the middle. A real cork. This sucker's heavy. Not as heavy as the Gatsby, uh, Remus Gatsby Reserve cork, but it's heavy. Important things here are the words forgotten on the front. And up here in the neck tag, we see it is 105 proof. Compute, compute, 52.5% alcohol by volume. So, a little bit hotter than last year's release, isn't it? So, you might say, well, some of this is missing. And, uh, yeah, I poured some samples out of it. So, uh, excuse me, I had some people that would like to try it. So, for me, this is uh, the first take here on it. Uh, but it's been sitting out a little bit now. So, it's not, it's probably been out about... 30 or so minutes, so it's not uh, just freshly poured here. 
color wise a little lighter than I expected to be honest with you it's a little light I know well now rise can be dark too I don't know a little light for me uh, for 13 year old bourbon and an eight or nine year old rye I expected like midnight black in this glass but no it's uh it's like straw pretty light let's give it a nosing oh sweet heavens that smells good you know you're in for a treat when you get a nose of just that oak and caramel I get I get like a faint whiff of cherries I get some cherries some peaches heavy dose of caramel and some oak in there so I'm smelling mostly the bourbon components I would say let's let's go back in for another nosing here I do smell black pepper as well they said that in the but I smell that there is like a faint hint of rye spice um, so if you're you know if you drink rye normally they all have that that rye spice characteristic to them you get that on the nose here so you get like just like heavy caramel oak then there's some cherries and like peaches, pears kind of thing going on. There's some fruit going on. Then you get just some rye spice in there. It, you know, it smells pretty good. Without further ado, let's give it a sip. What a roller coaster of flavors. Mmm. You get the caramel, the oak. You get the caramel and oak first. Followed by some stone fruits. I didn't get cherries actually on the palate. I got like just peaches and pears kind of. And then boom, there comes the rye spice. The baking spices come in. It doesn't really... If, if I didn't know this was finished in rye cast or that there was a rye in here, I wouldn't know that there's rye whiskey in here. It kind of tastes like a really good well-aged bourbon. with But like a high rye well-aged bourbon. Let's take one more sip. Well, that's a hitter. That's a hitter. That's the first burr rye I've ever had, I think, to be honest. I don't think we've ever done a burr rye on this channel, and I don't think I've ever had a burr rye. Wow. Finish this good Kentucky hug. 106 proof is spot on. Uh, feels about 110 uh, on the proof point. Again, just the caramel and the oak up front, fruit, and then boom, that rye spice and just baking spices and it it's a good finish sweet it's good I'm gonna tell you it's really good now price on this bad boy was about 200 I believe so they've gone up last year they were 175 MSRP this year 200 inflation sucks that's all I can say about that um this seems to me much better value than last year's last year's was like a 60 or 70 dollar bourbon put into a 175 dollar bottle this year this feels like a 175 dollar bourbon 160 dollar bourbon what let's say it feels like it's 150 to 175 but they price it at 200 so doesn't seem too terrible um in the pricing structure here this year but it is a little bit more than i would like to pay uh is it a great value no is it a bad value not quite, no. It's not a horrible value, I don't think, this year. Um, I would give this one an A. I think it's an A. Uh, if it was cheaper, if it was still the 175 I probably would have given it an A+. Plus. But I just couldn't because of the, you know, that $200 this year is a little steep. Now, I know I didn't like... Well, I, it's not that I didn't like it. I know I didn't love the Wild Turkey 1 last year, but we will compare that for you. We'll compare last year's Wild Turkey Master Key. So for those that need a reminder, this came in this like grayish blue box and it said 101 proof and this was a uh, bourbon's age between 9 and 14 years and then uh, a second maturation in toasted and charred oak barrels. So this wasn't. The inside though was this fun like orange color whereas this year's is like a whitish gray. They do a good job with their color palettes I will say. Again, that same gorgeous bottle. You might say, well, for, for, for a bourbon you thought was a bad value, you drink a lot of it. Yeah, I have. It's not bad. It's good. It's just not worth $175. I will link it above. I'll link above my uh, 
best of wild turkey video where you'll, you'll see where that fell in that lineup. All right, I got it here in the black, Glen Karen. Let's give it a nosing. This just smells like toasted oak and caramel. That's all you get on the nose, which I mean, you know, it is a toasted oak barrel. So I guess that's not unsurprising. Doesn't quite smell as old. Let's give it a sip. It's good, you know. It kind of drinks like the first part of uh, Unforgotten. It has that like older age bourbon to it. But then Unforgotten just goes with like then we add fruit, then we add the rye spice, then we add the baking spices. Like roller coaster of flavor. This one, that's it. It is kind of like a little bit of caramel and oak and toastiness and just fades out. That's it. Uh, very simple and not worth the price. So if, if you liked last year's, which I, I do I do like it, it's just not a good value. If you liked last year's, you basically get last year's in this new bottle, plus a whole lot more. So already it's off to a better start. Now would this be Bourbon Bill's channel though if we just stopped it there? We're breaking out the gold, Glen Karen, for this one. What could it be? None other than the champion of the Wild Turkey lineup, Russell's 13, batch 3 from this year, 2022. So, your option is Russell's 13, batch 3, or Wild Turkey Masters Keep Unforgotten. Which one should you get? You know, here on Bourbon Bill, we answer the questions other channels make you pay for Patreon to answer. So, you're getting these free answers? Hit the subscribe button and help me out. Alright, Russell's Reserve 13, batch 3 in the gold. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, holy shit. I mean, what a monster. What a monster. This is an old, dusty turkey here. Just... Gosh, so much oak. I'll link it above my review of Russell's Reserve 13 Batch 3 versus last year's Batch 1, linked above. If you watch that, and you should if you haven't, go watch it. Hit the like button. Uh, batch 3 is, is old. I mean, if you believe the data floating around, there's some 19 and 20 year old barrels in here. Um, actually, almost all the barrels are older than 13 that are in batch 3. This is an old turkey right here. There's tons of deep, dark, rich oak and leather and caramel in this. Let's take a sip. Damn it, that's so good. <sighs> Alright, let's go back to the Wild Turkey Master's Keep here. Alright, so here, here's my final verdict. The Wild Turkey Masters Keep Unforgotten keeps up with the Russell's 13. It does, but listen here. It's going to come down to what you prefer. If you like an old, old bourbon that's deep, dark, and rich, full of caramel, leather, oak, Russell's 13 is going to win it for you, for sure. If you like complexity of flavor, and also old bourbon notes, you like rye perhaps as well, the Wild Turkey Masters Keep Unforgotten is not a bad pickup. It's not. It still gets an A from me for tonight. Um, I guess where I struggle though here is the pricing. 200 100 It's half price. It's not half as good. It's half price and it's just as good. I, I would say that for me personally because I like a deep dark and rich bourbon and I do like some ryes. I'm getting more into ryes, but I'm just more of a bourbon guy. But there's a few ryes that I do love. Either way, Russell's 13 would, would win it for me uh, in a blind because I like that deep, dark, rich. That older bourbon, that's just delicious. I, I love it. That would win for me. But the Wild Turkey Mash Keep One Forgotten, I do love a good complex bourbon with different flavors. So that's right behind it. Um, it's not... Originally, I thought when I had the Russell's 13 that I was going to be like, that's a step above. It's not... 
I think for me, I would put it above the Wild Turkey Master's Keep. But you may not, if, if you like complexity of flavor and you value less, if you value heavy oak influence less, then you're going to like the Wild Turkey Master's Keep better. Actually, you will. You got to do better with your pricing structures. I mean, it just makes it confusing for the audience. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Have a good evening, everybody.